what is going on guys it's Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service and today I am at the GIE Expo so the goal of this trip to the Expo is to find my next stander so we're gonna be testing out a lot of standers outside at the outdoor demo but that doesn't open until tomorrow so right now I'm inside checking out all the new standers there's not a ton of new stuff uh, as far as standards go but we are getting ready to find something new so let's get at it So for Toro's Multiforce, which you guys know I have one of those, they have made a few new attachments. This is a dethatcher attachment, which is awesome. Uh, it goes right in the, the normal equipment slot in the front. I'm really excited about this. I've been looking into dethatchers, and I'm really excited for that. And then they also made a aerator as well. So I found the Ferris Z3X stand-on mower here. This thing is a beast. Here's my buddy Wyatt. He's uh, being dangerous. This thing is way overbuilt, guys. I mean, that frame is just unreal. It's got the articulating front forks. On this one, they've got the grass catcher on the side. I love the tires and obviously the platform. So I'm gonna test this out outside tomorrow. And I just found out why it told me that they have a Snapper Pro version of this. Good morning guys, it's day two of the expo and I'm standing here next to the Hustler. This is the Hustler Stander and I just noticed something. I've, I've looked at this before, but I just noticed something. This has an attachment for a backpack blower. So you stand on the platform, stand here with your backpack blower on, and you stick the nozzle right in here. And this is a blower right here, and it blows your sidewalk off. That is genius. Because we all know people stand on their zero turn or their stander to blow off sidewalks saves time. I think that's an awesome invention. This is one that I want to try out outside. I'm super excited about this one. You guys know that I have a Hustler Raptor SD and I'm looking to get another stander. This might just fit the bill. The only concern that I have is the relatively small back tires, but I do like that it has the nice big front tires, flat free tires. Um, and it looks like it's built really well, so I am definitely gonna check this out outside. Also, it looks like it's got a pretty easy oil change system here. Uh, we've got, got your drain here you've got your filter here then you've also got your hydro filter here all really easy to get to I think that looks awesome I am I'm excited to actually try that thing out outside so this here is a stander it's huge I think it's like a 72 or a 92 something inch cut it's got the bat wings as you can see here this is a stand-on unit, and up until now, I thought Ferris was the only one that had the oil guard system. I just looked over and noticed that this machine has the oil guard system. That's awesome. I love that. That is one sweet machine. 
All right, guys, so this is actually a reboot, I believe, of the Toro Proline series. Uh, Proline was a, a mower that Toro had way back in the day, and they've rebooted it with some new features. It's got hydro drive instead of belt drive. They've got their uh, Velky back here, or Sulky, whatever you want to call it. Everything is, is right here. Uh, this is actually your blade engagement, which is pretty cool. That's something different. I've never seen that kind of thing before. They also have a, a speed adjustment here, which is really cool. I just think it's kind of a cool little uh, cool machine. I really kind of like it. All right, guys. So we are over here at the Outdoor Mulch Mate booth. They are unveiling something called the Truck Mate. Lansing, huge fan, man. What's hey, up, buddy? How's it going? How are you? Good. And uh, supposedly it's supposed to go on the back of a truck. Okay, guys. This is the Truck Mate. Brand new goes on the back of your pickup truck it replaces your tailgate what happens is you put the mulch here you have a roller here and then this will roll this way and you can load up your wheelbarrow or whatever you have and uh, and put it on your beds that's pretty slick man I like that a lot this is the Starus this is another stand-on mower that I'm considering. I'm going to take a look at. Uh, it's got the nice wide platform like Toro. And then it's got the... It's kind of an ugly design. I don't like to say that, but it, it kind of is. But it all it's also kind of cool and kind of streamlined. It's, it's new age looking. So um, it's got dual fuel tanks. This is a 52-inch deck. Um, it's got good flat free tires um, it's looking pretty good uh, I do need to try it out I need to drive it and see what I think but uh, I don't know I'm kind of considering it uh, the balance looks good on it the engine is way back in there which is nice um, we'll just have to see we'll have to test it out and see what we think um, I don't like that that deck is even with the deck is even with that back tire all on on the on the right hand side which I don't really care for on the 52 um, it looks a little awkward so I don't know how that would work but other than that I mean it looks cool but uh, I gotta know how it cuts first so we'll see I'm gonna keep looking so here is one of the newest standers in the industry right here this is a Cub Cadet and uh, it's a pro series it looks pretty sweet I haven't test driven it yet but it looks really nice um, these back panels can come off so you can get to everything really easily got all your stuff right here which is really cool um, it's not under here like some I've seen uh, it looks pretty I mean it's beefy it's definitely got some serious tires going on uh, I definitely want to drive this thing see how it cuts or I can't see how it cuts here but definitely drive it and get a feel for it who knows that might be my new new standard, but I'm gonna keep looking. Stick with me here. I want to find just the right machine. <laughs> Where's the air horn, Richie? We're getting a ride from Richie Plemons out to the outdoor 
meetup today. Thanks for the ride, Richie. Are you welcome? Pain point where you got to make a decision. Do I want to grow or stay in the all right guys so here is another stander this is the stand the right zk it's a 61 inch deck this thing is beefy and I've actually never ran a right before well actually yes I did I ran one last year at the GIE here uh, but this thing looks pretty nice the top speed it says is 12.5 miles an hour I love I like the the looks of this it looks really really big and beefy um, so I'm gonna have to get outside run this thing and uh, again you never know this could be the one I have found the stander that I am most excited about and I gotta find their indoor booth because I'm gonna show you which one I picked and uh, it's, it's awesome I think it's going to be an awesome product I'm looking forward to demoing it. I want to set up a demo with them. But I got to find their booth. As soon as I find it, you will know which stander I'm going to try out to hopefully be the next one for my business. All right, guys, I found it. Here it is. This is the stand on that I think is the biggest and best here at the show today. That's right, that's it. Cub Cadet Pro X 600, and of course, mine's going to be the 54 inch deck. I just got done demo or riding this thing. I don't know how it cuts yet. I want to set up a demo for this thing. But I think this one is the best one here at the show today. I've driven the X Mark. I've driven the Ferris. I've driven the Wright. I have driven the Toro. Of course, I own the Toro. Uh, guys, this one by far outweighs them all right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed the search for my new stand-on. I know I did. I had a lot of fun riding these things. I am hoping to demo the new Cub Cadet Pro X 600 in the coming months or maybe next spring. But if you guys like this video, please shoot it a thumbs up and make sure you click this playlist right up here for a lot more mowing action videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.